The visible matter in the universe, such as stars and galaxies, adds up to less than 10% of the total mass that is known to exist from all calculations. This missing mass is known as dark matter. Its exact nature is still unknown. We know 90% of the matter in the universe, we know it exists, but we cannot see them. 90% you cannot see. So the question what it is. Most of people think it's uh, some strange particle. Nobody knows exactly what's property. One of the most ambitious scientific researches ever attempted in space, called the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer, or AMS, will try to break new grounds in the physics of cosmology. I think the most important goal of the experiment is to search, to use a very precise instrument to search for unknown, to discover phenomena we have not imagined. One of the last flights of the 30-year shuttle program will have an incredible responsibility. Shuttle Endeavour will launch a 1.2 billion euros cosmic ray detector to be installed permanently on the exterior of the space station. This unique seven-ton detector, AMS, will be the largest scientific instrument of the International Space Station. In this ambitious program, ESA had a limited but crucial role in providing the thermal vacuum and electromagnetic compatibility test for the whole experiment. We supported the AMS experiment uh, with uh, mainly the thermium vacuum test. And uh, this has been quite helpful also in, in taking the final decisions uh, in substituting the magnet uh, because due to the results here, uh, the team led by the Nobel Prize uh, Samuel Ting uh, decided together also with NASA uh, to substitute the, the, the magnet in order to get the maximum science possible from uh, this long uh, term exposure on the space station. On board the ISS, during 15 years or more, AMS science objective will be to look for the existence of antimatter. Cosmic rays are high energy particles which are emitted from events such as star explosions or supernova in distant galaxies, but which get destroyed by collision with our atmosphere. The collisions of the high energy particles can leave a trace and could help to understand what the 90% of the universe consists of. 450 kilometers above the obscuring atmosphere fixed to the ISS, AMS will receive millions of particles per second and detect cosmic rays using a huge magnet and six state-of-the-art detectors. These observations may answer important questions about the Big Bang, including why has the Big Bang left so little antimatter and what makes up the universe's invisible mass. The goal of the AMS is to be able to identify one particle out of a billion of particles and to tell this particle the mass, the charge, positive or negative. Identify like I was looking to rain outside the window and I can pick up one of the drop which is red. So similar to that, I look to the rain of particles which are coming through the space station, through the AMS, and uh, I want to be able one in a billion to tell which particle it is because this one could be the anti-helium, the anti-carbon we're looking for. The scientists expect the AMS to also pick up signs from the mysterious dark matter that should pervade the universe according to the Big Bang theory. Once in orbit, this first ultra-precise particle physics detector will open a totally new domain. It's very hard to predict what will be found and how much theory of fundamental physics could be contradicted and reshuffled with new principles. As my collaborators and myself, I've spent 15 years, a significant portion of our lifetime, to do this experiment. We are entering into a totally unexplored region with an instrument with unparalleled precision. Everything we do will be a new discovery.